the portfolio that you've got, which is all in and around Sheffield? No, it's uh, it's actually predominantly my student portfolios around Nottingham. Um, I still keep my actual portfolio quite quite private. Been a bit more public about the the business and the management business over the years. Um, but I I have bought HMOs in Sheffield, in Manchester, uh, over in Chester, oh, yeah, really? in Leicester, yeah. Um, so across several cities. And um, actually, my wider portfolio of single lets, which were in, in blocks of flats there elsewhere in the country as well, actually. So Okay, so because the development stuff, which is with Art Bella, um, that's also not necessarily in Sheffield. That's a bit further afield. So you're, because I, I, I always hear two schools of thought generally. Some people are like, I want to be literally able to see it from my window whilst I'm watching TV, the properties. I want to be able to, to, to throw, throw a stone as far. Uh, and some people are like, no, I don't mind where it is in the country. As long as I can make it stack, I've got systems and processes. And it seems like you're the latter then. Well, you can, you can make it work wherever you are. There's definitely a consideration. So with the HMOs, I do like to be close to the HMOs don't necessarily want them to be on my doorstep. Yeah. I think there is actually a problem in that. You're almost sort of, someone's, they can call you, they can give you a call. You, they expect you can just pop over every 10 minutes. And the inclination is if you're a good landlord, you will just drive over yeah. on a Saturday night and you know, and, and just sort you know the loose door handle. Um, and that's not necessarily a good thing because I think it needs to be managed properly. It's not and very scalable doing it like it's that. It's not, um, but the other stuff that I buy, for example, the blocks that we develop and have some of those in the southeast, we've actually just secured our first one in, in Sheffield as well, actually. Oh, yeah, well done. Is, Congrats. Yeah, which is really exciting. But I've got business partners, and between us, we can manage that element in the same way. So my business <coughs> partner is close enough. We'll still use a property manager. We're, we're not going to self-manage these sorts of things, and actually, we, we have no in inclination. We, we're busier... Um, building them and actually sort of planning and trying to acquire the next one and so on and so forth. So I think you, know, you can make it work. I like to be close-ish um, within, within, within reason. But, um, you know, if you're going to do it from far afield, and there are some great examples. Some, yeah, some people have been on my podcast, actually, and they've invested from different countries and made it work. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just lots of systems and lots of processes some really reliable contacts, good relationships, but you can make it work.